Hey guys, I'm finally gonna do another pregnancy update for you. Um, once again, I'm gonna do it as a cook with me because I have a Christmas party to go to tonight and I'm just making up some little uh, mini quiches and some pizza cups. So I thought we'll do a cook with me pregnancy update again. Um, so I will be looking down a lot. Sorry again. Um, okay, so I did have my ultrasound, my first ultrasound, my dating scan on Saturday. Um, and my due date is the 11th of July next year, 11th of July, 2018, um, uh, which is exciting. That's five days before Terry's birthday. Um, and that makes me nine weeks and three days today. It was one baby. There's one baby there. Um, so at this point, I'm still guessing it's a boy. Mind you, my symptoms have not subsided completely, but they're pretty easy going. I mean, they were anyway, but, um, sorry, I'm just greasing a pan. Um, they were already not too bad anyway, but my hip was a big drama for me. Um, and nothing really came from my ultrasound out of that. Basically, he said in future, if I'm to try for any more kids, that I should try and lose the baby weight first, which is what I was thinking too. <coughs> Sorry. Um, just the extra weight, I think, plus carrying a young baby already with Noah, um, and then from pregnancy loosening everything up and stuff, that I think it was just, it's just took a bit too much pressure on my hip maybe. Um, so that was what's happening with the hip. But anyway, I did actually wake up early the other morning and decide to take the kids for a walk to the shop just to get some bread. And um, it was a very small walk, like maybe 10 or 15 meters into the walk and my hip was already killing me. So that was a bit average, but um, in the days that followed, it actually seemed pretty good. The doctor did give me a little stretch to do, and I did that before I went for the walk, so I don't know if that helped, or maybe if the walk itself helped, which doesn't really make sense, I guess, because I walk every day, but um, I don't know, can't answer that. So anyway, that's what's happening with that, but the fact that it's feeling a little bit less sore when I'm walking and stuff now, maybe a good time that I could start doing a little bit more walking, some exercise on my cross trainer or something. Um, just to try and keep this weight from crawling up too far. Cause I gained, I think it was 16 kilos with Eden and 19 kilos with Noah or something like that. Um, and obviously I can't really afford to do that this time because I'm starting overweight. So my BMI pre-pregnancy, so it's 32, sorry, 60, 63.2 kilos pre-pregnancy this time. So after my little keto stint, I got down to 63.2, um, which had me at a BMI of 26.6, which is already overweight. So um, I'm now, this morning, I'm 65.4 kilos, which is 2.2 gain already, which isn't too bad according to my pregnancy book. I'm sticking to what my weight gain should be, but obviously I can't really guarantee that's gonna be the same the whole pregnancy, so I want to try and be a little bit strict on myself. Um, but that's that. Um, so on top of that, so between symptoms and eating, basically I've worked out that if I eat not to what I feel like eating, so if I feel like eating a lot, I just can't. Um, I have to feel a little bit hungry still, or not feel completely satisfied. Um, so I guess no, like, so no overeating. And then, um, I have to eat sort of every two to three hours and that keeps the, I wouldn't say morning sickness because it's not just in the morning and because it's not necessarily what I would call morning sickness, but it is the nausea. So that keeps that at bay. Doing that so that's what I'm trying to do it's a bit difficult at work because I only work for five hours a day generally um, so I don't get a break and tr I work on busy periods so trying to get just five minutes to scoff down like a protein bar or something can sometimes be hard which leaves me feeling a bit 
um, until I can get there. But um, so far, doing what I'm doing, keeping up my water and trying to eat at least a little something every couple hours has been keeping the sickness away, which is awesome. So I was sick, like actually sick, once the other day, and I can't remember why that was. I don't remember. Oh yeah, I think I was brushing my teeth and I didn't feel very well, so that made me sick. So I think that's like the third time only this whole pregnancy so far that I've actually thrown up and it's not been for like a pregnancy reason. I mean, it is, but not your usual ones. And with Eden and Noah, I would get sick, I would throw up, just after I ate something or I'd feel that gut feeling like I'm gonna be sick or anything like that. I haven't had that this time. It's been, if I'm a little bit nauseous and I brush my teeth Mommy, or, you know. Let's have that. We'll take it out. Show me. What is that? Baba, what did you put in there? I don't know. What, you put something in that. What did you put in that? I don't know. Well, you can't drink that now, that's yuck. Do you want water? No. Don't you, don't, want you don't want to drink of water? Eat it. You can't eat that yet, it's not ready. You didn't drink the water? Let's go ahead now. No, I took it out. It wasn't here anyway, it was something you put in there. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, and the first two times when I thought I was actually going to have a horrible um, time with the vomiting, was when I was still taking my, I think they're called preconception vitamins, and I was taking them on an empty stomach. That made me sick twice. So I'm pretty sure it's only been three times that I've actually been sick, um, which is cool. But having said that with Eden, I think I got to about this point too, and I thought that I had it pretty well in the bag, not having morning sickness because they said it's usually your first trimester, you get the bulk of it. And I was like, woo, look how far through my first trimester I am and no sickness. But um, I think I got to about just before the end of the first trimester and for a couple of months I was sick with her. So we shall see. Sorry, I'm cutting puff pastry again. Oh, okay, so, you might get a laugh out of this, you might not, I don't know. I'm sort of, I think, I think it's a little bit funny, a little bit sad at the same time. So, on the weekend, I went to a wedding. Um, obviously, my family were there. Well, I guess not obviously, but it was a family wedding, so my family were there. And, anyhow, I asked on one of my mother's groups online if everyone thought I should dress the belly to look like a pregnant belly or if I should try and hide it because most mostly it's just fat. And everyone said no, embrace the belly. So I went with that. Anyway, I just wore a dress with sort of a belt up around here. And um, I'm so glad that I'm pregnant because I think if I'd gone to that wedding and not been pregnant, and I don't think it would have really mattered what I wore to be honest, but. I think if I'd gone to that wedding and not been pregnant and been in the same situation, that would have been a really hard day for me because I had so many people coming up to me, either that aren't, we're not friends on Facebook, even though that we're family, um, you know, distant rallies and stuff like that, all the older rallies, um, and stuff like that. So many of them come up to me and ask about the belly. I get things like, what's going on here? And you look pregnant and things like that. And it's like, at least I could brush it off and be like, I am pregnant actually, yeah. And they're like, wow, you're showing really early. And I'm like, yeah, I am. So um, I'm kind of glad that I had that, but otherwise that would have been a little bit sad for me. Hearing that, because I know it's just chubs, but anyway. So I'll show you it anyhow. Um, so what did I say? We are nine weeks, three days. So nearly nine and a half weeks. I don't know how well you can see that way if I slip. So, yeah, it's pretty round. Looks fairly like a pregnant belly, I guess, um, which is cool. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Hope that gave someone a bit of a laugh, because 
Otherwise, that would be miserable. <laughs> um, what else is happening? Nothing right now. So, actually, at the scare, when we told Eden it was only one baby, she still didn't believe us. But once I said, no, darling, like, it is only one baby. Eventually, when she came around, I said, do you think it's a girl or a boy baby? Are you having a brother or a sister? And she said, a brother. So, we're all pretty convinced it's a boy. Um... Even though, as I said, the symptoms now that they're sort of like gone to not a great deal of anything, that was sort of an Eden thing. That was a little thing. So I don't know. Time will tell. We've got like 10 weeks before we can find out. But yeah. Anyway, so I think that's pretty much everything for the pregnancy update. No one's given me really any ideas on food. Um... I'm um, actually, I don't like fruit. I eat sort of bananas and that's about it. But lately, oh my gosh. Grapes, strawberries, mangoes, apple a little bit. I can't think what else. But anyway, I've been like obsessed with it. I don't know how many grapes are like nearly $10 a kilo. And I'm still buying them anyway. They're amazing. They're so good. And we're going through so many of them. Because obviously the kids love fruit. And then because I'm eating them. Going through a lot. And it's so good. So satisfying. And actually, this is not great. But anyway, um, I went to my auntie's house. And my uncle and my cousin, at different times, were eating noodles. Like cup noodles. And I'm not a big fan of noodles anyway. But I could smell them. And I was like, they're so good. So yesterday, I went shopping. Yeah, it was yesterday. I went shopping and I was like, oh, the cup noodles are like $1.20 each, so I'll get some. It was the best thing I've ever done. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. And I'm looking at this pack and I'm filling it with the hot water and I'm like, this, there's like two dried peas and like three pieces of dried corn and then whatever, whatever else that other crap is that just looks like nothing much. And I was looking at it all and I was like, this is really sort of not great but it was so good oh my gosh it was so incredible so um yeah still no real cravings either i don't think i mean obviously i guess you would call that a craving but nothing where um and the fruit but nothing where i sort of had this idea in my mind of cravings and i know this is third baby i should either know better or have a proper idea but I sort of had in my mind this thought where cravings would be like you see in the movies and they wake up in the middle of the night or just any time of the day and they're like, oh my gosh, I have to have whatever it is. Okay, you can brush your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you do it. And that it would be a case of, you know, you've just thought of something completely random. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that and I have to have it now. So I don't know if cravings were like that for anyone else. And if they are, let me know because I'm curious. But I did not have that at all. And still, still so far, don't, don't have that. Except as I said, I was like, oh my gosh, these noodles seem fantastic and I want to have them. And then also the fruit. I was actually cutting up the fruit for the kids. It was strawberries one day. And I was like, that strawberry smells pretty good. So I had a little bite. And I was like, okay, that's not as bad as I thought strawberries were. Not that I think strawberries are bad, but again, I'm just not a big fan of fruit. I'd rather sit down to a salad or veggies any day. Um, so I was kind of excited by that. And then rock melon, actually, another day. She was having rock melon. And yeah, it just sort of went from there. I bought grapes for them just to have as an easy snack um, and since then I've just been like fruit 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 I've got two mangoes in the fridge that I can't wait to eat I really want to get some avocado there this kid and brushing her teeth does anyone else's kids love brushing their teeth this much mind you she's already brushed them twice this morning yeah 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 my doing mom my doing mommy filming and making food the party. Why? Why? Because we've got to share. Um, she loves brushing her teeth. Well, just all random times of the day. She'll want to brush her teeth. And at least two or three times ago. Don't know. 
probably torn if I should be like, you really don't need to brush your teeth that much. Or if I should just let it go because at least she enjoys brushing her teeth. I don't really want to break the habit of enjoying brushing your teeth. But I buy like this natural toothpaste. I think it's like two or three times the price of normal toothpaste. But, oh well, what do you do? Anyway, so, um, I think that's about everything. If any of you guys are pregnant, like, let me know where you're at, how far along you are, um, where you're at with food and weight. You don't have to tell me your weight, but, you know, if you're um, on a sort of trying to maintain um, spot in a pregnancy, or if you're just free for all, I was free for all with both my kids, just eat, eat whatever I want, not whatever I want. I'm a little bit strict, but, um, you know, I wasn't too worried about my weight with either of those because I started at a healthy weight range this time it's a bit different so just yeah I'd be curious to know where everyone's at and what everyone's doing if they're exercising I didn't think exercising was a thing in pregnancy no that's enough no. I am um, I honestly thought we weren't supposed to exercise while no. we were pregnant for my first for Eden and then for my second one I went to a boot camp no, I my teeth. no that's enough thank you um I went to a boot camp to lose the weight after Eden and there was a, I think she was about seven months pregnant, um, the lady there. And um, she was working out with us. She was doing not everything that we were doing, but you know, she'd use the kettlebells and she'd do squats and um, where we'd run, she'd walk, but things like that. Um, and I just, I, I actually pulled her aside one day and she must've got this a bit because when I pulled her aside and started asking about the pregnancy, she sort of looked at me like, oh my gosh, again. Um, but she said she um, maintained healthy weight. Her doctors were happy with her. The PT was happy with her and all that. Um, so that was kind of cool. So it was after that that I realized you could work out um, in your pregnancy, obviously, carefully. Um, and I probably wouldn't go to a boot camp. I'm not keen for that right now. I'm too sore anyway, but also I'm pretty lazy. Um yeah so if anyone does anything let me know i love watching it i haven't in ages but i used to follow on instagram like mums that work out you know pre and postpartum and stuff like that and that was really cool but it'd be interesting to see anyone on here um what they do what they get up to um and don't forget to if you don't already follow my a and &E mummy page on facebook twitter instagram um i think it. yeah that's all I got um, and feel free to like you know tag me and stuff too that would be cool I would love to see what you guys could tag me in if you find different recipes or different um, you know like little workouts and stuff like that that would be awesome so feel free to tag me in that stuff and yeah that's it I'll talk to you guys later bye